today I'm going to be taking you guys along on a typical day in the Australian countryside. Usually I like to occupy myself recording music or making art for my singles or albums. But uh, most of the time I am out in the countryside just doing whatever and hopefully in this channel you guys can see the type of stuff that I do. Um, we do have a bunch of chickens that we need to feed every day as well as uh, just random animals that we keep around. And I think we actually go through a bag a month roughly and that's how quick they usually go. And yeah, it's just, um, it's really fun watching the chickens kind of grow up as well as, you know, just feeding them in general. And you'll be seeing some of the chickens later in the video as well as later videos I'll kind of go through the individual chickens the names and stuff, so you guys can look forward to that kind of thing. I didn't grow up in a farm or anything, so it was a pretty big change to move from a suburb of California and half my life was in Japan. Um, so going from a city to a countryside was a pretty big change and getting used to the natural way that things are in the countryside, whether it be how quickly things get moldy. Um, that's something that I didn't really have in California because it's such a dry place. And things like that where I have to, and I'm still learning as well uh, while living in Australia, but it's uh, one of those things that, yeah, it was a bit hard for me to adjust to at first, but now I'm starting to get used to it. So finally getting there. I think one of the best things about living in the countryside is the abundance of uh, fruits and things that you can basically grow. Uh, these are a few passion fruit that, uh, that are just growing on the property that we're on. So I'm always making passion fruit sparkling drinks and stuff. It's really healthy, really fresh. And here's a few of our little baby chicks that's growing up currently. And yeah, we just have a diverse range of colors uh, for our chickens, a lot of black ones right now. And currently they're all laying, so uh, we are luckily being able to eat some free range eggs, and which is a really awesome thing to be able to have. So I usually start off my morning with coffee and I make sure it's iced because I just personally like iced coffee more than hot coffee. Something that I found out in Australia is that they actually drink espresso shots as coffee. They mix it in with hot water where in America it's a lot of it is drip coffee. So if you think about diners in America, it's usually drip coffee and that's something that uh, surprised me when I moved to Australia. So after all the morning routines are done, I can finally enjoy my cup of coffee, uh, iced coffee, and yeah, I'm obviously a bit dramatizing this part because I usually don't sit for that long. But um, yeah, it's just something that I can kind of enjoy the, the morning air. And this is the type of thing that I usually make for an easy breakfast is some rice with ochazuke, which is a Japanese style dish that you pour hot water on. But for today's video, I'm going to be putting some green tea on it because it's it just tastes a lot better as well. And it's a personal preference, uh, whether you want to use hot water or just green tea. So this is the packet that I always use, the shake, which is salmon, dried salmon, and it's really good. I got it sent from Japan from my family relatives that live over in Japan. But because we do tend to go once or twice a year for you know visiting or shows that I have, yeah, I try to stock up on things that I can't really get in Australia or something that would be really expensive here. But this is what it looks like. It's really tasty and really easy. So one of the things I like doing is walking around on the property because there's a really big dam that I like to visit and just kind of watch. So 
this is the dam. It's really big, and I'm pretty sure I saw a platypus one time. Um, it could have been something else, but I'm pretty sure I saw a platypus in here. And it's, yeah, it's just uh, a dam that's right by our place that I get to kind of sit down and um, embrace nature to the max. And today I think I'm going to take you guys on a quick drive to a bakery that I usually like to go on weekends and enjoy a cup of coffee. And yeah, there's a lot of horses and if you're lucky you'll see a kangaroo uh, in the fields just roaming or eating grass. One thing that Australians love are meat pies and sausage rolls, which are basically savory bakery things. And for educational purposes, I, I got a meat pie, uh, this is a chunky steak, and a sausage roll. I also got like a passion fruit cheesecake that's really good. Um, I've kind of grown to start liking anything passion fruit now. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna enjoy my bakery stuff here. And if you enjoyed watching this video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.